So what's up, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Will's Builds. As you saw in that last video, uh, we were racing the Caprice out at Willow Springs for the Spec P71, and I didn't hardly do any recording because I'm really bad at remembering to do that. So what we're going to do today is get ready for the next race, which is in another two or three weeks. Um, we're going to put an oil cooler on this. Um, it's a Mishimoto. It's actually for a GTO but it will work on this, similar engines, LS engines, kind of like Legos. So we're gonna tear into this. We have a improved racing oil cooler delete kit, and I'll get into why we need to use that here in a minute. But for now, we need to get all the stuff off the front of the car, so we have a place to mount the oil cooler, and then we have to remove a stock oil cooler off the oil pan underneath the car. All right, so we got the front bumper off. Um, so I think where I'm gonna put the oil cooler is right where this little siren is. We'll take it out. Um, try and fit the oil cooler there. Uh, somewhere, somehow. Uh, we'll get it to fit in there. Uh, it's either that or it's gonna have to go kinda like in the front on the bottom, but I think in over here on the side will be good because uh, that way I can always duct it from the bumper better. And then this is actually the air intake duct. Um, some stuff I want to do with that. We'll get to that later. So this right here is what the improved racing oil delete kit is for. This is the radiator, the upper radiator hose and it has this fitting in it with this line down there. That goes down to the factory oil cooler. Now, what the factory oil cooler uses is the 200 plus degree coolant that is running through the engine to cool the oil, and that doesn't really work very well. On the track, we were regularly seeing over 200 degrees, sometimes upwards of 220 or 230, and that's kind of borderline uh, overheating. So, we're going to uh, change out this hose and then the return goes into the side of the block and that's what this big brass plug is for so um, we'll get the intake off and start pulling these cool ones So it's a little hard to see in the Caprice. So I just have it on this other engine I have right here. So this is the oil cooler. Uh, as you can see, it's bolted into the side of the oil pan right in back in there. So the oil will circulate through here. And then you have these two coolant lines. This one comes down from the upper radiator hose. Um, I believe the pathing is from the upper radiator hose through this line, goes through here, cools the oil, cools, and then comes back up into here, and the Gen 4 blocks will have a boss right in the side of the block where this threads into the block. Uh, that's where we just put the plug. Um, it wouldn't have this. Uh, you can see where this clamp actually has the bolt is on this end on this oil pan as well so yeah it's a pretty simple system um, I just don't think it works that well for what I'm doing for road racing so we took this off and in its place we put a cap sort of like this um, the one we put on there for now doesn't have this I think this is for a pressure sensor um, like a sending unit uh, I don't think our, ours doesn't have that ours has it up on the back of the engine um, maybe it's for temperature, I'm not sure, but uh, it's just a cap that just blocks off that. Um, but I'm going to show you now what we're going to be going to. So this right here is the Mishimoto uh, block. Um, it bolts in the same place that the factory oil cooler came off. And these are dash 8s or dash 10s. And we're going to have the this line comes off like this. This one. And they'll basically run up here and then go up to the oil cooler somewhere up in the bumper. I don't know if we're going to get that on before the race, 
but eventually uh, this will be doing the oil cooling on the Caprice. All right, so I showed you on the engine on the stand over there how the oil cooler is going to connect to the oil pan on the Caprice. It's really hard to see up in there on the actual car, so we're not going to worry about that. But we did get the car all back together. Um, it's been a little bit. So as you can see, kind of dark. We got the oil cooler in there. Front ends all back together. And we're getting ready for the last race of the year out at Big Willow. So yeah, thanks for watching the oil cooler video on the Caprice here. And until next time, just keep building.